Welcome to this moment of prayer hosted by the Upper Room. I'm Andrew Breeden, one of the editors of the Upper Room Daily Devotional Guide. Wherever and whenever we gather, we come together to pray with and on behalf of the world. As staff of the Upper Room and partners with you in this journey, we are so honored to have this time to pray with you. As we begin, I invite you to take some deep breaths. Breathe in the love of God and exhale any worry or tension that you are carrying with you today. Let us pray. New every morning is your love, great God of light, and all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us a desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors and all your creation, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I would like to open our time together by reading a passage of scripture from the book of Exodus. I'm going to read chapter 16, verses 2 through 4. Feel free to open your Bible and follow along, or just listen. By the time we get to chapter 16, God has delivered the Israelites from their captivity in Egypt. And the passage I'm going to read immediately follows what are often called the songs of Moses and Miriam, who praise God for God's faithfulness to the Israelites as shown in their deliverance from Egypt. Exodus chapter 16 verses 2 through 4. In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. As we know, God keeps God's promise and sends bread from heaven, or what the Israelites call manna, and they must go out and gather it each day. My hope is that this scene helps set the stage for our spiritual practice today. For the next few minutes of our time together, I would like to lead you in an exercise called Visio Divina, or Divine Seeing. Visio Divina is similar to Lexio Divina in that it invites us into a posture of meditation and prayer. Unlike Lexio Divina, however, Visio Divina uses images instead of words. If you enjoy this exercise, you can find an outline of it for personal or small group use on the Upper Room website under Resources, Articles, and the tab Prayer. For our image, I would like to use the art on the cover of the September-October edition of the Upper Room Daily Devotional Guide. It is titled Manna, and it's sort of a snapshot of the passage from Exodus that I just read. If it's convenient and you have your copy of the Upper Room handy, you might want to grab it, but I will also display the cover on the screen. Okay, take a look at the image and let your eyes remain on the very first thing that you see. Keep your attention there and try to keep your eyes from wandering to other parts of the image. Breathe deeply and just let yourself gaze at this part of the image for a minute or so.
Okay, now let your eyes look at the whole image. Take a moment and look at every part of it. Now, let's take a minute or so to reflect on what we see. Okay, so now that we have looked at um, a, a small part of the image, and then also as the image of a whole, I have some questions for you to think about. The first is, what part of the image first caught your eye? Why? What emotions does the image as a whole evoke in you? What does the image stir up or bring forth in you? And finally, in what way does this image lead you into an attitude of prayer? Let any prayers inspired by our Visio Divina exercise take form in you. Take a few moments to speak them silently, say them aloud to yourself, or write them down if you want to. And as we are in a posture of prayer, I invite you to join me in offering our prayers to God together. For wisdom to teach and to guide us. For the leaders of the nations and all who are in authority. For justice, peace, and freedom among all peoples of the earth. For a just and merciful end to the pandemics of COVID-19, systemic racism, and domestic abuse in our country and around the world. For those suffering physically, emotionally, spiritually, and economically and for those who have found healing, abundance, and joy. For those feeling lost and alone. And for those who create community and sustain vital friendships. For those who are mourning the death of loved ones, the death of hope. And for those just being born for new love and the birth of dreams. As we join our voices with all the saints and angels of God, let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ, who taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. And always remember, you are beloved, you are not alone. Go in peace. Amen.